Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Voodoo Voodoo Vlog. And today we're going to be blasting the mighty Were-Goat Slave Bitch of the Black Ram Master EP on Parasitic and Iron Bonehead Records. So fucking good. I love me some Were-Goat. Also, some of the most gnarly illustrations. Satan getting some DP on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Gnarly, gnarly stuff from the were goat. Fuck yeah, I love that cover art. Just, I just love the way Satan's drawn. He looks great, especially in this flame. Hell yeah. But... On the other realm of the spectrum, I want to talk some more about some fucking death metal. For all you death metal fiends out there. If not, and you're in the black metal and stuff, I'm sorry, but right now it's time to talk about Extremity, Extremely Fucking Dead. On 20 bucks spin records. Now, there's a reason I did not get the mini LP of this, and I will get into that in a second. Let me first say one thing about this. This right here is so fucking awesome. Not being biased whatsoever. Seriously, I am so impressed with this project and how it sounds on tape. Now, I wanted to pre-order the vinyl. I thought this was going to sell out, honestly, almost immediately. As soon as I saw the lineup of this band, I was like, holy fuck, are you kidding me? I need to get this. And then, I forget what came up. I, I was like, let me do a little bit more shopping on 20 bucks spin. And I forget what album it was, but I chose that over the mini LP. And I put it off for a bit, and I was like, when I get this, I'm going to get a tape version too. Just because I know this is going to sound sick as fuck on cassette. After I heard the uh, preview track on Extremity's Bandcamp, I just knew, I was like, this will sound awesome on tape. And last night, like, honestly, I'm listening to this on my Ghetto Blaster, and... I completely, like, when Side A was over, I completely forgot that I was listening to a cassette. I thought it was on my turntable. And that's all thanks to Greg Wilkinson at Earhammer. His fucking recording and production. First off, he does some of the best, best production when it comes to bands from the Pacific Northwest and Oakland. He's just the fucking man. He's the dude to go to, in my opinion. He did Vastum. He did Necrot. He's done so much fucking amazing bands and shit. Extremity just adds to his resume of pure fucking filth and hellfire. And Extremely Fucking Dead is just amazing. Especially when you have people like... Shelby Lermo on guitar and vocals, Marissa Martinez on guitar and vocals, Erica from Skolex and Necrosic on bass, and Asep Decker on drums. Yes, Asep Decker. Fuck yes. Seriously, that's a fucking super group right there. Marissa's in Cretan, Erica Skolex. ASAP Aglock? Like, what? Seriously? Fuck. <laughs> and, wow. Fucking wow. You have six tracks, which are extremely fucking rotten death metal on the extremely fucking dead mini LP. This is so fucking good. If you're a fan of Exhumed, especially, you are going to love this. It's equal parts exhumed, equal parts autopsy, and then just equal parts a lot of these members, like, just their own input and throwing everything together 
inside that fucking cauldron of death. Just, oh man, that's how you get a track, which, like the intro, Mortus Est Valde, I think that's the only way you can write a track that sounds that fucking sinister and yet leads you into a album of this fucking caliber, like, with tracks, you know, titled Chalice of Pus, Fatal Immortality, Bestial Destiny, you know what the fuck you're getting into, and that's just some straight to the fucking guts and cutthroat death metal. And I think it sounds so sick on good old analog format. And again, to quote Decibel, probably sounds best through a rumbly speaker. Yeah, I'm sure the vinyl sounds amazing, but, like, the cassette just has this charm to it. And I don't even want to call this old school death metal. I just want to call it fucking what it is. And that's just fucking death metal for fans of putrid fucking rotten sounding death metal this isn't for you know you animals as leaders prog fanboys or anything this is for people that fucking love sweatpants still refuse to wear t-shirts with the new cannibal corpse logo and just fucking worship the altar of madness by morbid angel it's just it's amazing fucking death metal here is all i really need to say like seriously extremity extremely fucking rotten when it comes to super groups i really hope we get a full length from extremity along with necrosic or even a split that would be so good because you would have two of the best super groups from the west coast putting together some amazing music which i'm sure would be amazing featuring this lineup which would also have erica being in both projects but fuck yeah like her bass playing it's just it's so good like she's an awesome person an awesome musician and just her bass tone like wow all I could say is wow when it comes to Erica's bass tone on everything she's done musically. It's just always fucking totally on point and just heavy as fuck. Awesome. Like, I love this shit. I love death metal and I love death metal when it's done just putrid and awesome. And the riffs on here, fuck yeah. The vocal delivery, fuck yeah. The drumming, fuck everything about this. The songwriting, amazing. Artwork, amazing. Which is actually a painting by Theodore Geracult. And the band photo is by uh, Jennifer Sublet. It's an awesome promo photo. Looks like some kind of mausoleum, which is essential when it comes to band photos when you're playing the style of, you know, fucking putrid death metal. But Extremity Extremely Fucking Dead on 20 bucks spin is some serious fucking death metal gold. As rotten as it sounds, I fucking love this stuff, especially on analog format. It just sounds great. But if you're like, uh, you know, sound Nazi, get it on CD or whatever, and yeah, you'll probably still get that same fucking sick death metal assault that you're going to get here out of these six tracks, but is it going to sound extremely fucking dead? I don't know, because I've never heard the CD version, but I know that those digital tracks led me the analog route. As well as, like, I do need to pick up the LP because this is fucking badass stuff and I'm gonna wear this tape out <laughs> if I keep listening to it the way I have been. But, yeah. Extremity, extremely fucking dead. My favorite track on here has to be Chalice of Pus. And the title track, extremely fucking dead. It's just amazing, amazing shit by um, this amazing supergroup on 20 Bucks Spin Records.
who put out the cassette vinyl I'm pretty sure it's available on CD as well it's like $11.99 on vinyl uh, like $5.99 on cassette 20 bucks spin is always pretty cheap when it comes to physical media so definitely check out 20 bucks spin and check out extremity extremely fucking dead mini LP you will not be disappointed if you're a fan of death metal especially American death metal from the bay you're just gonna eat this up trust me because I ate this up especially some of the exhumed worship fuck yeah it's so goddamn good and Greg Wilkinson Bravo like just an amazing sounding release Another one to add to an already fucking amazing resume, but Extremity, Extremely Fucking Dead, 20 bucks spin records, pure death metal fucking filth. Get into it if you're a fan of death metal. But we were blasting Were Goat's A side of Slave Bitch of the Black Ram Master on Parasitic and Iron Bonehead Records. So fucking good. I love Weregoat. I don't know what it is about just the sound that makes it so much gnarlier than a lot of the other bands that, you know, do the blasphemy thing. Weregoat just make it so fucking just... I think it's because there's a lot more death metal elements in Weregoat, but I'm not 100% sure. I just love this band. I love the project and... Yeah, it's great, and I love Extremity, and I can't wait to hear more from these guys. Extremely fucking dead. Get into it, and as always, thanks for watching. You guys fucking rule. Hills.